Did I enjoy my life? Munchausen syndrome by proxy. The Gypsy Rose Case. Dee Dee was an example of a fighting mother. She was raising Gypsy, her seriously ill daughter. She was loved and helped by all her neighbors. Until one day they found out she had been murdered. When the news broke, no one understood how sweet Dee Dee had been killed. Who all the people love and had helped. Ever since they arrived in Springfield, Missouri, after suffering the violence of Hurricane Katrina in their old home, everyone turned to them. Also non-profits. They gave them a house to help them with money. They were even able to travel to Disney World. But what they didn't know was Diddy's big scam. Diddy had deceived many people, including her daughter. They had made her believe since she was little that she was sick, that she had cancer, that she had to eat through a tube, and that she could not move. If she underwent surgery several times, and it never occurred to her that her mother did this for no real reason. They suffered from what is known as Munchausen syndrome by proxy, the mental illness in which the child's caregiver, often the mother, makes up symptoms or provokes them to make it look like the child is sick. But Gypsy, like any teenager, began to take an interest in boys. They began to double of her mother, but she took advantage when she was sleeping to go on internet forums to meet guys. That's why she met her boyfriend Nicholas, with whom she would plan and be the author of Diddy's murder. When the neighbors discovered the murder, no one thought Gypsy was behind it all. But when she disappeared, they gave her up for dead when they found her chair at home. But thanks to the testimony of a family friend, they found her at her boyfriend's house, and both were arrested. Among their things was money and jewelry that had been stolen from the victim, and the murder weapon, and if it had been mailed to Nicholas' house. They found a gypsy who could walk. Who was growing hair was completely healthy. Gypsy immediately told the police that everything was alive while her life. Her mother made her do it. She even shaved her hair, making her believe that it would fall out the same because of her illness. The case ended in trial. Gypsy pleaded guilty to second-degree murder, and the judge sentenced her to ten years in prison, being able to obtain parole in seven and a half years. And it will be in 2023, when she was 32 years old. In an interview, Gypsy acknowledged feeling freer in prison than during the years she lived with her mother. Sometimes reality beats fiction. Did you know this case? If you know others, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until the next video.